Hello, I'm Kishore and welcome to Moving Images. What you see here is the character The Man with No Name, portrayed brilliantly by Clint Eastwood in the Dollars Trilogy. This is a classic example of an anonymous character. An anonymous character is a character that the audience do not get the privilege of knowing the backstory of. Instead, what we get to see is the actions of the characters that drive the movie. The anonymity puts the audience at the edge of the seat, constantly guessing and doubting the motivations and actions of the anonymous character. In Indian films, we have an indigenous take on such anonymous characters. God. Cinema God. A popular trope in Indian mythological films is God taking human form to interact with the other characters. We, as the audience, alone are privy to the knowledge that the human form is God and hence we do not care about the backstory of the human form, but are rather curious to see how the story unfolds around this character. Now this concept apart from the writing cinema gods can also be used to determine whether a character needs a backstory or not that will give rise to intriguing scenarios and gripping stories. What we are going to see in this episode is how to write God. To help me explain this, we are going to take Tondi Mudalam Trisakshiyam as our case study and how director Dilish Pothan has written God. The character Prasad is the god here. Prasad. Prasad. Sir, Prasad and Devan. And Devan was on. How do you The story follows a couple, Shrija and Prasad, going on a bus journey where Shrija's gold chain is stolen and swallowed by a thief also named Prasad. What follows is a funny yet poignant tale filled with unreliable characters that leaves the audience confused whom to root for. Hmm? The evidence and eyewitness which the title of the film translates to cannot be trusted and at the center of this distrust is Prasad and his anonymity. Prasad remains an enigma. Even his name is stolen and the details he gives the police are vague. <laughs> this trait is also seen in cinema gods. <laughs> As Thomas Doherty says in Reading Absent Character towards the theory of characterization and fiction, Naming a character is an act of distinction that sets the character apart from the surrounding narrative environment, other characters, and the readers. The lack of an actual name is an important trait as this makes the thief not a distinct character but a part of the narrative, a force of nature, that acts as a catalyst for the story. We do not know his backstory or his identity, but we do get hints about his nature throughout the film. And this makes the character three-dimensional, even without us knowing who he is. This also plays as a strength to the film, which is based on the distrustful nature of the people and events. Sir, I'm the lack of a backstory does not concern us the audience 
What we care about is what the thief will do. The suspense keeps us hooked and that makes Thondi Madalam Thirusakshim truly cinema. Now as a what-if scenario, let's try taking the concept of cinema god or the lack of backstory and try imagining an existing film in this perspective. Let's try making Nalla from Anbe Sivam a god. What I'm going to do here is remove the entire flashback sequence about Nalla Sivam and reimagine the film with what happens in the present alone. That is, uh... Was the receipt, it's wet because it's wet outside. With this, we are making Anbarasa the central protagonist, as he is the one who goes through a character arc from being an arrogant, privileged man to a humble and loving person. This makes Nallasivam an anonymous character, a force of nature, like the rain and cyclone that brings these characters together and makes them embark on a journey of self discovery. Making Nallasivam a god ties into the central theme of the film. And also puts us, the audience, in suspense about the character. <laughs> we can see how this affects the story by trying to piece together who Nalla Sivan is just from the scenes that happen in the present. We know that Nalla Sivan has people skills. He is a good man on a mission to help the needy. His cars and disfigurement are from an accident. He loved someone. Finally, we also get to know the people in his life. With just these information, the realizations about Nalasivam that comes at the end as twists, such as him being unmarried, him sharing a past with Anbarasan's pride, and an enmity with the bride's father are not only understood through the narrative without the flashback, but are also impactful. The lack of a backstory here shifts the perspective of the movie and tells an intriguing and suspenseful story. We will be left with more questions about Nalasivam and that might immortalize him in our minds more so than now. The above exercise was just meant as a fun way to reimagine Anbe Sivam. The film is perfect the way it is, but it would have been an equally exciting experience if Nalasivam was written as a god, a cinema god. Until next time, this is Kishore signing off saying. Before you go, I would like to give a shout out to Kichidi, a YouTube channel that does sketches, reviews and many others. The people at Kichidi were kind enough to give my channel a shout out and a good gesture deserves another. I watch their videos regularly and I would like to suggest you to check it out and if you like them then subscribe. See you next time.